In the computer code, I'm playing God, as it were. I am able to create different universes that start off from different initial conditions. So this would be equivalent to different physical universes where, say, speed of light is different, or force of gravity is weaker or stronger. In our universe, we have life. You know, we have a lot of beauty and intricate behavior and emergent forms. It is unusual. The surprising feature of contemporary cosmology and theoretical physics is that our theories seem to predict the existence of the multiverse. So let's take the very simplest idea of a multiverse, which is that all configurations, all permutations of matter that can exist, will exist, which poses some interesting questions. If there are infinite copies of me, then how do I know that this is the real one? How can it mean that they are all real, in which case do I lose sense of any determinism? In the dynamical systems that I'm exploring here, every time we run a simulation, we are exploring a different universe. In conjunction with my PhD student, Leo Ben-Guy, we've been looking at a type of dynamical system, which is called a cellular automaton. The world, if you like, the animated world, is composed of a grid of cells. Here, we have two rules. If a cell is black, if it's got two or three friends close by, it continues to live. On the other hand, a cell that is grey or, or dead, if it's surrounded by three living cells, then it will come alive. It's a strange rule where you need three people, if you like, to make a baby. When I press the space bar, the rules would come into play. The analogy here is the Big Bang, if you like, the explosion. We see that very quickly that random pattern of um, black squares, of live squares, produces little blinking geometric shapes. This is all entirely by chance. We don't yet know how to systemize this exploration. I was quite pleased when I discovered this one. And this seems to produce these digital frogs that are swimming across the surface of a pond. So the work I'm doing with Leo, one heading it might be under is artificial life. Out of all the universes that there are, it seems hard to believe that ours is special. In a sense, I'm also exploring possible universes, like the parallel universes of science fiction, of fantasy. And how can we explore in some systematic way the spectrum of possibilities within these mini multiverses that we're creating?